Some tragedies in human history are so monstrous and of such magnitude that we resolve to commemorate the victims every year, to show them the respect that was denied to them in their lifetimes and to ensure that this will never happen again. Today, we remember over 50 million African women, men and children who suffered the horror of enslavement and the transatlantic slave trade over a period of 400 years. We honor the resilience of those who endured and pay tribute to the memory of those who lost their lives. This year's observance, which takes place as we commemorate the 75th anniversary of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, reminds us that despite years of work, racism, the ideology and harm that underpinned the transatlantic slave trade is still with us. Racism marks out some people for lower quality services, for fewer opportunities and pervasive corrosive contempt. Racism brings exclusion, discrimination, hatred and conflict. And those who endure this racism, even today, are often descendants of those who suffered enslavement in the past. Last month, I undertook a visit to Haiti, a small country that played an immense role in ending the transatlantic slave trade. At one point, Haiti represented one third of the transatlantic trade in enslaved Africans. It was also the location of the first massive revolt by enslaved people, demanding their fundamental rights as human beings. Toussaint Louverture, who was born a captive, enslaved from birth, led thousands of men and women in revolution and won independence for his people, a remarkable achievement at the time. Haiti is poor today and its people suffer deeply from inequalities, from underdevelopment and horrific gang violence. Many of these structural issues have roots in the exploitation and vicious harms perpetrated, perpetrated over generations during slavery. But the people of Haiti are rich in culture, in creativity, in ingenuity, in courage, and in pride. The history of slavery is a terrible reminder of inhuman suffering, injustice, and loss. But it is also the story of a victorious struggle against oppression and for freedom, a quest to fulfill our universal human rights. These rights are the founding principles of the United Nations, and they are the basis of sustainable development and peace. To meet the challenges that humanity faces today, we will need the free and full contribution of everyone. And that means fighting racism and the legacy of slavery, which is still at work all around us. Racial discrimination is especially harmful to the women, men and children whose equality is denied and whose rights are violated and blocked. But in a broader sense, racism damages us all all of humanity is made poorer when groups of people are demeaned, dehumanized, and held back from realizing their full potential. In this anniversary, uh, anniversary year of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, it is urgent that we renew our commitment to eliminating racism, and not just our commitment, our action. So, in 2023, how can we honor the memory of the victims of slavery and the transatlantic slave trade. Working to dismantle its ideology of contempt and oppression with effective implementation of strong policies and laws. Working to abolish its legacy of exploitation and structural inequalities, including in the use of human and natural resources and between developed and developing countries. And working to redress and correct its lasting consequences, including racist practices and policies in schools, law enforcement, healthcare, and employment. On this day, I remember the millions of victims who were torn from their homes, sold, and exploited. I honor their humanity. Thank you.